Hey guys, Brady here. And you can see in the background that I have Moana on Blu-ray. Isn't that awesome? I owe Moana. I love Moana. Yeah, I just bought Moana the other day on Blu-ray along with Do uh, Doctor Strange um, and uh, Allied. And also, this Samuel L. Jackson movie. Um, Moana's fantastic. I love Moana. Uh, Allied was good. Not as Not as great as Moana, though. Anyway, so... I just saw uh, Beauty and the Beast. I was supposed to see, well, I, I thought I was, I thought I was seeing Belko Experiment today, but I wasn't. I thought I was, I thought it was going to be Beauty and the Beast and Belko Experiment. But I was just Beauty and the Beast. So I saw Beauty and the Beast in IMAX 3D, and um, some of the two scenes looked impressive in IMAX 3D. It, it, that's the size one. So pretty much Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't seen the original Disney one, not the original one from 1934, because there's. It's the first ever adaptation, I think, of Beauty and the Beast was in 1934 that I know of, because I looked it up. That's the oldest I found. Um, but uh, then it got rebooted in 1943, then it got rebooted again in the 50s, then it got rebooted again in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and now it's 2010. So, were people complaining about the re... When... But the people who were born in 1920, who saw the movie, who saw the uh, 1934 movie, were they complaining about it being remade in 1943? No, they didn't give a shit. So why do they give a shit this century, when uh, uh, this decade, when everything is being rebooted? People, things were being rebooted thousands of times back in that time period, but nobody gave a shit. Like, well, they probably gave a shit. I don't know. But anyway, so Beauty and the Beast. Um. This stars Emma Watson, Ian McKellen, Kevin, Kevin Klein, uh, Josh Gad, Luke Evans. Uh, has a really good cast. Cast of non-Disney type actors. Um, so, Beauty and the Beast <clears throat> is about... Okay, so, a prince uh, who pretty much is like doesn't accept this rose from, uh, from this one hideous looking woman and so the woman turns her, turns him into a beast uh and then he's just locked not really locked away in a castle he's just in like this big castle for like the rest of his life and he's a beast and everybody thinks he's hideous and stuff like that and then, and then the lady turns everybody who was at the party into like uh inanimate objects like people get turned into clocks chairs um pianos and all the other stuff it's a very strange movie uh thing i guess but um yeah, so anyway, uh, now Belle, uh, well not Belle, but after her father goes into the forest and, go, and tries to go through the castle to get her, to get her daughter, to get Bella Rose, uh, what's his face, the, the father, I forgot his name already, um, and the father goes, uh, gets captured by, hold on, I got distracted. Father gets distracted, not distracted, gets captured by the beast, and, and the beast imprisons him inside that castle, and Belle comes to rescue him, and uh, now Belle is pretty much Beast's bitch. No, I'm joking. She's not his bitch. Uh, but he does keep her captive there until she escapes. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of singing in this movie, like a lot, a lot of singing. Um, you kind of, I kind you, you kind of expect that. In a Disney movie, but I don't remember there being any singing in Jungle Book or Cinderella or maybe it's because I've seen this movie once. But I actually really enjoyed this movie. Like I really enjoyed Beauty and the Beast. Um, I thought I thought the set design was great. I thought the acting was great. Um, some people may have problems with the uh, with the uh, character with the uh, what's it called character design of Beast. I thought he was okay. I thought he. I thought the character design did the role well, um, but uh, the um, <clears throat> I I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah. So now, now there's a, there's this rose that sits in this uh, like glass case, and uh, what he only has like a, I don't know how long to live before all the rose petals fall off. Like if all the rose petals fall off, he 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 pretty much dies or just 
or in this case, and then this movie, because it's because it's this century now. Everything need, nobody nobody needs to die in a, in a kids movie. He goes, he stays the beast forever. Unless you're Gaston, who falls and dies to his death. But we can say die in this movie. He needs to be a beast forever because we're Disney. Because fuck you, that's why. And fuck you, Disney. For okay, so my friend works at Frank's Theaters, and we usually get into movies for free. But since this is a Disney movie. Disney is a greedy Jew ass company. They're not Jews. They're not a Jew ass company, but they're, they might as well be because they we had to pay for this movie. Um, so now I now instead of uh, not owing my friend money, I owe him money because this movie was not free like like a cure for wellness, fist fight, Lego Batman, uh, the Great Wall, and other other shit because. Those aren't Disney movies. Those are Warner Brothers, Universal, uh, 20th Century Fox, Summit, all those other movies. But no, since Disney over there wants us to pay for every fucking thing they, they have under their belt and wants to charge us $25 for Blu-ray, I, I we had to be charged. They, there, was, there was no, um, what's it called, um, worker discount thingy. Because Disney is greedy, so we had to pay for Beauty and the Beast. We had to pay for we had to pay thirteen dollars our ticket for uh, Beauty and the Beast in IMAX. Thank you, Disney. Thank you very much for being greedy. We can't even bring our cell phones into our to your fucking screenings. Anyway, so uh, now that I'm done with that little rant, um, wow, I I really enjoyed this movie though. Like Gaston was great. Uh, I walked in there, I, I, I walked in there thinking, oh, I'm going to hate Josh Gad. Josh Gad's going to be so annoying in this movie. But Josh Gad was actually not that annoying in this movie. Um, at, least I, at least I didn't think so. Uh, this movie had a few weird scenes. Like this, this movie was kind of easy to make fun of at some parts. Like Lumaire, whatever the fuck his name is. I, I, I don't know the story too well, but I think his name is Lumaire. He dabs in this movie. Like, he's just straight up dabs in the movie. I was like... I just remember my friend, I was like, did, did the candle guy just dab? And he's like, I don't know. And then the, uh, and then my other friend who saw it with me, he was like, yeah, I saw that too. I was like, what? Why, why is Disney incorporating dabbing into their movies now? Not to mention, they, they still enjoy poop jokes. Just watch the new... Uh, just watch a new pirate trailer. You know what I'm talking about. At the very end, uh, it's Sparrow, not Sparrow. The fucking macaw shits on uh, Jack Sparrow at the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean trailer. Don't believe me? I saw it in IMAX 3D. That trailer. Um, they're like Jack Sparrow. You had bad luck. And he's like, No, I don't. And then a bird shits on Jack Sparrow. I thought you're past poop jokes, Disney. I thought you're past that when you did the Hannah Montana TV show that Sweet Life of Zack and Cody on deck and uh, uh, fucking. Proud family movie. I thought your past poop jokes. Or you still find it fucking hilarious. Whatever. And the first part of the movie, movie had that. Um, but yeah. Now that I got that little rant out of the way, the uh, yeah, I, I, I out of all the things I expected in this movie, I did not expect to see a dabbing candlestick. That was just odd. Like why? It was just very strange. It felt out of place. Out of it felt out of place in this like old Victorian type um, era. Just a random dab sequence that happened for like a second. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed this movie. I give Beauty and the Beast four stars out of five. It's it's um. I think this may be my favorite live action adaptation. Um, Jungle Book was good, but I think um, this and Cinderella were a little bit better than than Jungle Book. Uh, people may disagree with me. I don't care. It's my opinion. I um, maybe it's because I got distracted by uh, Watch Your Face. Emma Watson was very distracting this movie. Like I got, I kept getting lost in her eyes. She has like such seductive eyes. She's like really cute. I like Emma Watson. She was, she was great in this movie. She was great as Belle. Um, really, re really pretty uh, girl. But um, so anyway, 
Besides getting lost in Emma Watson's eyes, as she was so seductive in my opinion, the movie was good. Um, yeah, four stars out of five. Uh, I, it's been a while since I've seen the original, not the original Beauty and the Beast, the 1991 Disney classic. Uh, perhaps the first animated film to be nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. Bye.